Hello, this is uh, Jim from Teacher Online Training. This is uh, a video presentation called Smart Boards in Action. Um, I'm basically going to show you the um, functionality of a smart board interactive whiteboard. Okay, the smart board right now is connected via a cable uh, to my laptop, which is sitting over there. And the laptop is uh, connected to a projector, which is projecting its image onto the smart board. So the, those three things are all talking to each other, so to speak. Um, and the objective of the smart board is I can control my computer application by going up to my smart board and touching it. Okay, a touch is registered as a left mouse click. Uh, you can also do other things like right mouse clicks, but we'll get to that in just a second. Um, so what I have to do first is I have to orient my smart board so that it knows, the computer knows where I'm touching it. Okay, and the way I do that is very simple. Down in my pen tray, I have two buttons. If I push those at the same time, I'm going to bring up my orientation window. All I have to do is go now to each of these points and touch it right in the middle. And this will indicate to the computer where I'm touching it, or to the smart board where I'm touching it. And it will communicate that information back to the computer, and you'll be able to control your applications accurately. Uh, so here we are. Now also on the smart board, I have a pen tray very intelligent. It has four pens, black, blue, red, and green. When I pick up one of the pens, the smart board knows about it. This is not a real pen. Notice I'm not writing in green. Basically, since I picked up out of the green pen tray, the next time I touch the smart board, it's going to write in green digital ink. Okay? Now, it uh, knows I want to write in green, I can use the pen, which isn't a pen, just has a, a safe writing tip for the smart board. Any place I touch on it will be green. So I can actually write with my fingers and it'll do the same thing. Now to erase, I simply pick up my eraser. It now knows that I want to erase. There's a green light, meaning I'm going to erase. I can just come down and erase what I'm doing. So that's the other basic function of a smart board. Put that back down, and I'm ready to write again. Okay, let me put this back down, touch the screen, it goes back to my application. Now let's show you a couple things. One, an interactive website, and then the smart notebook software, which is an incredible tool. Very, very cool. So I'm going to bring up an uh, interactive website. This is a uh, site that has a game called Blobs on it, or Blobs, excuse me, it's a very fun game, interactive. Students can come up, click to start. The objective of this game, it's a logic link game. You're supposed to clear off, jump the different blobs all over the place until there's one blob left if you can do it. And all you need to do is touch a blob, drag it to a particular space, and I jumped a blob. And I can just do that to see whether I can clear off all my blobs. I don't know if I'm going to win this round. Let's see. Oh, look at that. In my last blob, I cleared it off. Yay! Woohoo! I won that round. It'll go to the next round. Okay? Uh, let's say I picked up a pen tray again, or a pen from my pen tray. Notice that it puts an outline around this page. This outline is like taking a snapshot of this page so I can write notes on it. Right now I have my blue pen up here. As you can see, I can draw this. It's kind of dark, but you may want to take some notes. Let's say you want to give some indication on what the first jump is going to be, so I might write it there. Now I put this back down. I can either save this snapshot, including my writing, or I can tap it and just go back to my application and then start moving around. Oop, that was a false move. Let's jump over here. I'm not going to finish this, but you get the idea. All right, let me close this out. Boom. Uh, now we're back to my desktop. I'm going to open up the Smart Notebook software. I already have it uh, loaded up there. There it is. Great application. Want to see something cool? Watch this. Let's pick up my black pen tray. This is just a page for people familiar with uh, PowerPoint. This may be your first slide. Uh, come over here and put that down. Come over here, look at my page sorter. Notice I have a, only one page right now. Click back here. Let's draw something. I'm going to write, oops, excuse me. I'm going to write my name on it. I accidentally picked up the pen along the way there. There's my name. Well, what can you do with this? Well, let me show you. Let me put this back down here. I'm going to erase 
that little mistake right there, put that back down. Now, I touch my object, I select it, it can recognize my handwriting and change it to text. From here I can do a lot of stuff with this, twirl it around, move it around, do a whole bunch of things that has a lot of different application uses that, uh, for later on. I'm going to, let me twirl this around, I'm just going to select that, I'm going to cut that right now, show you uh, another feature of the Smart Notebook software. Smart Notebook software has something called a gallery. The gallery has just amazing resources for teachers. Uh, I, before the video started, I did a search on the word cube, and look at all the results I got that are in the um, gallery for the word cube. All these things are, a lot of different things on cubes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this grid, uh, the cube grid, and I'm going to move it, just drag it out there. There are different ways you can put things from your gallery on the page, that's the easiest. I tap here to get rid of my uh, menu bar. And let's say you want to do a presentation on how to find uh, the volume of a cube. So I pick up, let's, I'm going to do this in red, and I would just start in, you know, doing some basic construction. This side has, uh, is four centimeters, it's a cube. So all these sides here are all four. How do you find the volume? Well, the volume is equal to four times four times four. Or you can continue it, times 4, the volume is equal to 64, I should know that. And you want to make sure you have your units. And in this case, we have cubic centimeters, so I have 64 cubic centimeters. Okay, well that's all well and good, but you want, you want to make sure your applications and things you do with your smart board are interactive. So you have a lot of resources, a lot of things you can do in the smart notebook software. Here's one. Screen shape. Let's say you created a bunch of pages with uh, some problems already solved, but you want the students to come up and solve it and then to see whether they got the right answer. I can just use a simple thing like a screen shape, open up my shade, cover up my answer, have the students come up, see if they can solve it. They may go volume equals 4 times 4, and let's say they say it's 16, after they're done, they can open up the screen shade, and they can look, and you can explain that. Oh, yeah, you have to make sure you have all sides. You also have to make sure, let's see, that you have your units down there. I can just drag that, but I can also clone it, make an exact copy, because I don't I want to keep my answer accurate. There you go. So you make it interactive. Notice that on my page it has all these notes. Now if I want, I can save this page, this notebook file. I can call it anything I want. I can even export it and uh, create a PDF. I can bring it into PowerPoint if I want. I can create this as a PowerPoint slide. You can do a lot with a smart notebook. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you so much.